Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with another Black Ops sniping gameplay commentary. This is the map Discovery. This is six-man team deathmatch on the new map Discovery, part of the First Strike DLC pack, which contains, as you know, four multiplayer maps, one zombie map, and I, this isn't the greatest game. I'm going to say that right now. The, the end score is it's respectable, it's good, but... I, I I had some trepidation about whether it was actually YouTube worthy. I mean, I gave it a little boost because it is sniping. Uh, I am using the PSG one, although I don't know if that's really a, a, a you know a, a hindrance or or you know even if it's uh, quote easier than sniping with the L96A1. But I I came away from this after I kept this video and after I've watched it, I, I come away from this video just thinking, ah, you know, it's it's. It's not great. It's not like a 30 and 0 or like a 45 and 1 or 45 and 2 or something like that. It's 21 and 6. It's a 3.5 K to D. It's uh, it's it's kind of in that in between. I don't know. So let me know what you think. Uh, I, truth be told, I was just in a hurry with the map packs dropping. And by the way, first of all, thank you, a huge thank you to uh, my Quack clanmate, and they're, they've been on me since I started this to give them a shout out. So first of all, big shout out to the Quack clan. Second of all, big shout out to the Quack clan member Ghost, who helped, uh, who bought the map packs for me. I had uh, sworn them off before, but he he messaged me and said, "Here you go. Here's the MPs. Pick up the map packs." So thank you very much, Ghost. I hope you're watching. I hope you enjoy. But what I wanted to talk about with you today was with the new map packs. I mean, like I said, I wanted to get a video out on the map packs, on First Strike, with what I think about them. And I'm going to get to that in a bit. But I didn't really, you know, I, 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 I found myself forcing or trying to force myself to have a good game. And I'm and I I, I went through a, more than a few bad stretches of just just bad games, not putrid. There were, although there were a few putrid ones, just kind of bleh games. And I, I was forcing stuff. I was missing shots. Uh, it was it was just all around bad. At least from you know from the perspective of what I come to expect from myself, and and you know when thinking about what I would. Uh, you know, as a YouTube viewer, what would I want to see from a commentator in terms of gameplay? I was, I, I felt dejected about what I was able to cobble together. And I'm wondering, do any of you go through stretches like that? Just, just whole stretches. For me, it was a couple days. I mean, I, t I recently turned it on today. Uh, after getting a good night's sleep, I was, you know, been shoveling for the last couple of days with the snowfall he we've been getting here in Chicago. You know, I was wondering if you guys get that same thing, whether whether it's a, a stretch of, you know, maybe an hour or so, or a couple hours, or maybe even a couple days like me, do you get stretches where you just, you just have bad games? It, it's really, it seems like it's outside of your control. At least that's the way that's the way it seems to me. I mean, obviously it is within your control, but it seems like one of those things where nothing goes right. People are always popping out behind you and you know, killing you from behind or everybody you you run into the team where everybody's got an AK7 for you and all that stuff. And I'm wondering do you guys have that? Because I certainly do. Maybe that's something that when you get to, when you attain a certain level in in video game play in first person shooter play, maybe that's something that you don't experience as much but i certainly do experience it and i'm wondering if you if you guys do as well so just let me know in the comments if you do now on to the map packs i've i know i seem like a hypocrite because i put up a video on my channel decrying the hit detection on this game and you know giving the middle finger to treyarch and activision for you know wanting 15 dollars for this map pack but like i said i got it for free and you know who turns down free swag and one thing I will say, and I know I, I am critical, perhaps overly critical at times of, of this game and other things and of people, but I want to give Treyarch credit, whether they knew this going in, whether these maps were lying about the cutting room floor for some reason. I am, for the most part, impressed with the map packs, and mostly what has impressed me is this map, uh, Discovery and Stadium, with, their, with the way they introduce color into the map that is something that i think is done very very well the sunset here on discovery the the contrast and and the different colors that you see in stadium it's all it's all pretty good 
the Berlin Wall is kind of dark and dreary, and uh, Kualum, I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, there is more color. It's like, it, it, but it really, at the end of the day, it's like Hanoi with lighted signs, right? Like, if you put a bunch of lit signs around Hanoi, you'd have pretty much Kualum and set it on Favela from Modern Warfare 2. That, those are the easiest comparisons I can draw. But overall, I'm impressed with it. One thing, though, that... I think will happen, and to be perfectly honest, I hope does happen, is with the introduction of maps that are clearly meant to be conducive to sniping. Not, not quote, sniping maps, but maps that are saying, okay, if you want to snipe, you'll be able to do it on this map. Discovery is one. I would say Berlin Wall a little bit. Uh, Kualum, again, a little bit. But... The one thing I hope happens, or that, or that I foresee happening, is people understanding this about these maps and being brought into the sniping class if they weren't already before. And I really, really hope people start to see the problems that are still currently afflicting the sniping class in Call of Duty Black Ops, because let's not kid ourselves, it's still a problem. Maps aren't going to fix it. I don't care what kind of map you dream up, there is no way outside of making wide, sweeping changes to the way the game mechanics are in this game that you are going to fix sniping without, as I've said over and over, and I don't care if it's redundant, I don't care if you're getting sick of hearing it, get rid of the initial scope and sway, get rid of the off-center scope, and get rid of the full-spread ADS timer. It's enough. The, the sniper rifles have been killed enough already by this game and by the developers it's time to get rid of that i'm happy that there are maps that are more conducive to sniping like i said like discovery here but it's not enough it's not enough and i really hope that people will see that this is a sniping map and start and try to start sniping and then see man this is really really hard like ridiculously hard like unnecessarily hard like i'm not going to be able to come overcome this with any amount of skill hard that kind of hard, because that's what sniping is in Black Ops. And so I hope that happens, and I hope eventually either somebody will notice me crying about it, or whining about it, or complaining about it, whatever adjective you want to use, I guess that's a verb, whatever, whatever you want to use, hopefully somebody will notice it, or somebody will notice and, and, and begin taking up that cause themselves, but hopefully somebody will notice it and we'll get some real changes here. But anyway, overall happy with the map pack. I think it's pretty good. All right, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I am out. We'll see you next time.